Hi YouTube. I've been outside using my machete. The woods is trying to creep in in my yard, so that was fun. And then I transplanted a couple of baby um crab flowering crab apple trees, trying to propagate them and watered some other plants that I have and flowers and that type of thing. Started a bonfire, cleaning up the sticks in the yard from the storm that we had all kinds of stuff so yesterday and today so that's it's beautiful out it's um in the 70s let's see 75 yeah really nice if anybody li likes pizza jd ritz um your pizza looks just phenomenal doug has a friend uh think he's Sicilian, his mom's recipe. He's got different restaurants around here, just pizza. And your crust looks like his. And their recipe, I think they use um, like fresh cracked black pepper in their sauce, which is was good for me because um, when we were on the road, I usually like uh, red hot or pecorino type you know red crushed red pepper on my pizza but um yeah anyway yours looked a lot like this kevin that we know um best pepperoni pizza i ever ate and i've been trying to duplicate it ever since i first tasted it about 20 years ago <laughs> so yeah your recipe looks phenomenal, and I'm going to try it. Although I am allergic to a lot of herbs and essential oils, like the basil. I like basil, too. I just um, have to be pretty careful. I'll use a little bit, but that looks so good. Or I could just make sure more was on Doug's. I don't know. Even a little bit will be fresh, you know. That looks great. So, yeah, people want to see a phenomenal pizza recipe. Yes, sir. I'm going to um, go online and convert your grams in, or your, yeah, grams. Or you use, what, milliliters. I'll have to look into, um, well, there's a converter for measurements on recipes. So, like, what would be a cup or... And I've made enough dough, I could probably just wing it from seeing, like, the amounts you use and stuff. But um, I want to do it just like yours because that, that does look really good. So, yeah. Wow. I have the pepperoni and I have the mozzarella already. Mozzarella. So. And sauce. I just have to get fresh base, and I have yeast and flour and honey and everything I need except for, um, or what do you call it? Is that uh, pec pepper, pecorino you put down? No, that was like uh, that cheese, isn't it like Parmesan, if I'm not mistaken? The first cheese you put down? I don't know. I'll look into it. I'll watch your video again and see if I can nail all that. It's, I think the trick is letting your dough rest in the refrigerator overnight. Um, that looks so like elastic, just perfect. Were you a baker or did you like work in a pizzeria or? Did you go to chef school? I did. Makes me wonder. You're you're full of surprises. So anyway, I've been listening to uh, uh, Rabbi Simon Jacobson, and this this guy is phenomenal. I'm listening to uh, right now his fascinating conversation with Sri Lanka monks. That's interesting, you know. 
but anybody that doesn't leave God or Christ out of the picture already has my um, attention. So, if I get cut off, no, I didn't get my SD chip card in here yet, and I didn't want to bug Doug. He was busy. Uh, a guy came with some more wood. We've got, like, a lot of wood around here now. Well, and our own to cut, too, but um, just making deals with um, either cash or car parts or whatever. We got it on credit right now because it's a really good friend, but, you know. And, like, we can take forever, you know. It's like we did some body work for him and he couldn't afford to pay for it then we stored his car and then we let him take it without paying for it so um he's returning favors so yeah so that's good news <laughs> wood is always good you know especially with i mean there's times the power goes out and i have uh, means to cook and warm water or whatever it takes I have um, provisions that other people might not have so but we made them like pounding our own well and them type of things several times in our life so you know doing what it takes to make things go around and really when you're busy you don't have a lot of time to worry about anxiety or um, who's being mean or, you know, if like me, I got out in the sunshine and I feel better. It's like, you know, if you just sit, it's like, unless you're just downright tired and you need to rest. But if you keep your hands and your mind busy, like they say, like idle hands, idle mind, I think is the saying. Well, that doesn't mean you can't sit and rest or if you've been just like severely traumatized that your body isn't um, tired from the extra exertion that it takes to go through somebody else's nonsense, you know. Because like even as a counselor, you can absorb enough, um, you know, being empathic towards another human being. But there's sometimes you got to go for yourself and have some quiet time and, like they say, recharge your batteries, you know. So I have one more of these, and like I say, if I get cut off, it's gonna, it would take me a while to get this uh, video out of here, so I have to be really careful. That's the key with these little phones that are getting older on me, so... Maybe that's what God feels about me. Hmm. A little more careful? Or am I, I think I'm a little more careful with God. Yeah, that's more like it. <laughs> Better be right. Happy weekend, everybody. Cheers. I love you. I do, you know. Some people think, and there's a meme on Facebook that says, how could you love, love me? You don't even know me. Well, because I can see you in my mind's eye. And when I started first working, um, I had taken all my Red Cross courses and babysitting and Red Cross lifeguarding. I was a junior lifeguard and um, uh, first aid care and uh, um, whatever it took, like setting broken bones or whatever. But when I first went into nursing, before I went into physical therapy and then psychology type things and even a lunch lady and construction worker, all kinds of stuff. But just to make my world go around, whatever I had to do at that time is what I did. But I started out wanting to just go into the medical field. Even when I took a chef's course at 15, that was for um, business 
restaurant and um, chef just just the course I took that I loved that I was interested in um, not knowing what my future was going to be a couple years later I started in nursing school and at that time my adoptive mother had gone through cancer and I had nursed her and uh, grandfather both with cancer a lot a lot of people and had spent time in retirement homes and helping and different things in my life student teacher um, trained medical counselor all kinds of stuff so my point being my first love was taking care of people and when I started looking at the elderly how helpless they were and um, that they were once somebody's baby and everybody's God's child. That really gave me a wake-up call at 17. And um, it hasn't gone away <laughs> since then. So when I say I love you, um, the base is not everything everybody does. But as a human being, I do look for the good in people, and I can always usually, and I might dig it out of you by being mean right back, but in a funny way. I have sort of an odd way of communicating, but that's on a person's level. I give them what they give me, maybe a little better, maybe even a little worse, but I really truly always have love in my mind at the base of it all so for everybody okay. i'm going to get this uploaded i'm going to see how it goes and then maybe i'll take a a quick video of my bonfire pit and let you see that um before the day's out i'll see how it goes or another time but I love you all. Don't forget it. When I say that, I mean it. Have a really good night or day wherever you're at. Peace, everybody.